Oh, I've just been doing some watering in the polytunnel and feeding. It's such a lovely day, I thought I'd give you a quick tour. There's my tunnel next to the greenhouse. It's absolutely glorious. It's beautiful blue sky, look at that man. It could be in the mid. I'll show you what I've got going on. I'm really pleased I'm having a good year this year. So there we go. Lots of growth everywhere. So let's have a look down here. So in the corner at the back there's three there's three quad grows along the back. And in here I've got a wild Mexican chilter pin and a far end. Next to that is a seven pot primo which is looking really good. That's a big plant now, just started to flower. Next to that is a Mexican jalapeno M which is starting to fruit. There's a few fruits on it, you can just see there. A few more coming, that's looking healthy. This one I've just um, put a stake in because it was falling over. This is a Jay's peach, the only Jay's peach I've got this year. I don't know what happened to the rest but none of them germinated. So that's good. This is a <laughs> this is an aubergine plant um, which I'm growing uh, for a, just as a bit of a change and it's already a nice fruit on there. And down the front in some pots I've got a few other bits, cashmere merch. Uh, there's another wild Mexican chilled pin, a king. No, it's an embassy naga that one. Uh, that's Katie. And this one in the corner which I've just moved about. Oh, it's Habanero Harold some Barts over there. Then along here, what have we got here? We've got a Guero. Now these, I got sent these by a friend in Mexico. And these peppers are absolutely delicious. You just sort of grill them and eat them a bit like a padron. Um, not very hot at all, very mild. Um, but delicious, absolutely delicious. Called a Guero. And in here, uh, it's one of my favourite, all-time favourites, Antep Acidoma. You get those massive, great red peppers that are hot. A brilliant thing. Um, Amatrice F1, I got from the Italian guys. Thanks very much. Uh, always another Katie in a quad grow at the back there. And then down here, uh, what's that one? Where's the, oh, there it is. Uh, oh, it's SRTSL, uh, which I've... First year I'm growing those, I've got two of them. They're all looking a bit limp today because it's a bloody hot. Uh, here's a King Naga. Don't know what they're like, never grown them before. I got that from um, uh, Samias. And then in this last quadro pot, this one here, it's another Cashmere Merch. Love those chilies. Beautiful colour. Really deep, deep red. Not terribly hot, but fantastic thing to grow. And then this one here. Yeah, I'm starting to get some pods on there. That's, um, that's a chocolate bubblegum. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. That should be, I've not grown that either before. And then in here, this is my favourite, Padrons. I've already picked a few and had a few off here and there's a few more coming. There's another beautiful looking Padron there. I love these things, they are so delicious. You just, um, you just eat them with uh, uh, sea salt, fry them in a little bit of olive oil and sea salt. They're absolutely fantastic. And then I've got I've done a few seven pot primos this year. I've got a primo orange, primo yellow, um, and regular primo. I've got a few of those plants, I think three of it, two of each. And then here's another guero in here, which again looks great, it's covered in flowers, some baby pods coming. And here's a seven pot primo orange. And this is another, this is a chocolate bubble gum, it's gone mad, it's sort of it's almost like a clot, it's almost like one of those things that grows along the ground, funny looking thing. And this one, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about this. I think I might take all these pods off. It podded really early. Uh, this is supposed to be another jalapeno M. And, um, yeah, I'm not convinced about that. It's not growing at all. It's not putting any height on. So, anyway, that's that side. And then over this side, I've got a lot less plants than I normally grow. But I thought I'd go for a bit more quality this year. So these four Auto Pot XLs. Um, right in the very corner up here, I'm growing... Um, the yard long Asian space beans. I've just put the cape, the string in today and then what happens is I train them along it and they produce this great big long green beans, lovely. Uh, one of my favourite supers, a uh, jigsaw. That's a jigsaw in the front, top front. And the back there, got a Thunder Mountain Longhorn. It's doing all right, it doesn't look really very happy down there. That corner doesn't seem to do very well in this tunnel. And then here I've got uh, Aki Lemon. Get one another. Everybody loves Aki Lemon. And then in here, what have we got here? Oh, I've got Antep Poblato, um, Poblano. Uh, this one is, this is the mulatto strain, so these go dark brown. 
They've got some nice pods with an interesting sort of tail coming on them, look, if you're not there. That's quite a cool looking thing. Um, and then what we've we got up here next to that, I've got another SRTSL in a quad grow pot. Down the bottom here is another King Naga. That's my Flexorosum. It survived the winter out here. It's a sad little specimen, but it's the only one I've got. I'm keeping that one great. It's growing now, so. There's another Amatrice F1. And then at the back down there is a uh, Seven Pot Primo Yellow. And then the next quad grow is here. Oh, we've got another Antep Poblano here. This is the Rocco, so these go red. Um, another Habanero, Harold St. Bart's. Again, lots of flowers coming on there. The Supers are not really podding up yet, but they will do soon. Uh, another Padron in a Morrison's bucket. I think I saw a pod on here earlier somewhere. Yeah, anyway, never mind. And there's some on there. And um, what's that? Oh, it's another Aki Lemon and a Quad Grow Pot. And then I've got... Uh, Another Antep Acidoma. Love those, love those, love those. Um, in here, I've got another Embassy Naga down. It's getting a bit swamped, that one point now. And an Antep Poblano Rocco. Big plant, that. That's looking healthy. And then the final quad grow here. I've got a... Uh, these are called Antep Mutants. If you saw some pictures I put last year, it's supposed to be an Antep Acidoma, but it grows like a bloody great scorpion-shaped thing. Um, wasn't terribly hot, but I'm going to see if I can grow them out for a few seasons. I should be isolating them, but I can't be asked. Uh, there's another one there. I've got a few of these plants. I think I'll grow four. And then a couple more um, Poblano in there. And then what we've got down here? Oh, I've got another jigsaw down there. And a King Naga down there. And right at the back here. Got another Thunder Mountain Longhorn. This one seems to be doing quite well. It's a nice big long pod there. That's looking good. That. Anyway, uh, so it's bloody hot in here. Anyway, so this is my polytunnel where I basically grow lots of chilies. Cheers, all. Bye.